begin with breaking news. Former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick embracing family as a free man for the first time in more than seven years. The former mayor's release comes just hours after his 28-year sentence was commuted by President Trump right before leaving office. New video tonight shows him reuniting with the family in Georgia. Jason Colthorpe following this. Uh, Jason, it sounds like they had an inkling this was coming. Yeah, they did, Devin. Uh, Sherry Gay Danyogo, who's worked with a member of the Trump administration for the last year on this, knew earlier this week, but they've all heard this story before, right? So this time, they all stayed quiet, hopeful, and prayed that it would come true this time. That's the man right there. That's the man right there. After almost eight years behind bars, former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick walked free from Oakdale Federal Prison in Louisiana today and arrived in Georgia to meet family. We done made it happen, man. A member of Kilpatrick's family posted this video on Facebook. It appears to be Kwame hugging two of his sons and his sister after arriving at the airport in Atlanta. Yeah, hey, Lon. I saw a boatload of text messages and calls, and so I knew it had happened, and I was just overwhelmed. Former state representative Sherry Gay Danyogo has been waiting years for this day. She helped push the effort forward last February when she personally delivered a letter to President Trump asking for clemency. If you're connected to the city of Detroit, if you understand the people of the city of Detroit, you understand that people feel like, number one, his sentence was excessive to begin with. He paid a debt to society. He served seven years. Um, already close to eight years, being away from his family, being away from his mother. Kilpatrick was not pardoned, which means he still has millions of dollars in restitution to pay back as he restarts his life as a free man sooner than expected. While he may not be able to run for office uh, in the city of Detroit or the state of Michigan, I understand that he could possibly run for, you know, federal office one day. But in addition to that, I mean, he could lead amazing work uh, for criminal justice reform. I believe Kwame Kilpatrick will be an excellent example of redemption uh, and grace. Now, uh, Gay Danyogo, Danyogo thinks that uh, one of the first things Kwame Kilpatrick is going to do is kind of what you saw there in those videos, in those pictures, and that is spend time with his family down in Georgia. Devin? And Jason, though, I think what a lot of people are wondering is what and where Kwame Kilpatrick will be headed next and whether it might include Detroit. What are you hearing? We haven't heard anything about that, but we might be able to get the answer from the man himself. I am hearing that he's willing to talk to the media very soon, so hmm. stay tuned. Yeah, you Kevin. bet. All right, Jess, we've got much more on the uh, Kilpatrick commutation on ClickOnDetroit.com, including a timeline of his rise and fall, a look at where the key people in Kwame's life and career are now. You'll find it all on the homepage.